siku iwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima Ende ni namani Alleluia, Alleluia.
Tuweza kieti wanakwaya wakimba wimbo wa kumalizia iba. da é missa
ni classmate ya fa, ya Bishop Wallace father kimama ni classmate ya Bishop Wallace ni huyo akimpongeza sasa kwa furaha ni ombe wa wakilishi wa PMC PMC na waje na zawadi yao kwa mambo ya zawadi kuna wale ambao wanaongoza na pale nje kuna hema ya zawadi zingine protocol wataongoza mambo ya zawadi PMC wale wanakuja kwa niaba ya PMC wote wa Jimbo Patrick Tore and Claire Mwende na nimeta Recho Getao wafuatue na wale wa YCA ambao Steven Nganga ndiye atakuja wale wa YAC hao ni wana youth wetu wale wa YCA na wale wa MYM nao wakirishwa na Michael Kiarie Hao ni PMC na animator. Tuwapigie makofi. Maskofu wetu wa watoto wanawangalia sana muendele kuwaongoza. Muna penda watoto. Hao ni father zambao. Wakiongoza wa father njua nafanya kazi ya PMS. Ndiyo na hiyo zawadi. Haniyashima sana maskofu wetu kutuwa kwa watoto kupata hiyo zawadi. Wana youth. Wai. Siye. You, young Catholic adults YSC Youth Serving Christ na MYM na wana zawadi yao wao kwa jimbo uongozo na Father Viki na Father Domi ndio wao wanakuja na zawadi yao zawadi yao yao ya wana youth ni picha ina majina ambayo vijana huita maskofu to wachungaji fadhera watetezi wa familia waombezi wa wakuu hiyo zawadi ndiye huyo father viki tupigie father viki na father domi makofi wakiwapongeza maaskofu wetu ndiyo hiyo zawadi sasa ya peanwa niombe kwa wakati huo basi CWA na wawe tayari na zawadi yao CWA kiongozwa na moderator wao kwa Jimbo Jean na CMA na wawe tayari ndiyo tuweze kumalizia hicho kipindi harakisha kidogo Tuashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya neema ya mvua. Ni sana asitumie wakati vizuri. Caritas Microfinance nao mwe tayari baada ya CMA, the CEO Caritas Microfinance David Mukaru tafadhali uwe tayari toka hapa tuwajua fadhawali za ni pastoral coordinator katika jimbo letu pastoral coordinators from the Nairobi metropolitan wana zawadi yao tatimisha zawadi na askofu na zawadi kutoka kwa askofu wetu mkuu Filipa Nyolo tamalizia kwa wakati huu zawadi ambao ataweza kuwapatia tutaona kwenye sherehe zetu akija E, tuwapatia zawadi huko kitu ni kidogo tu kutoka kwa vikundi vya kanisa kibinafsi tutakuwa na nafasi za kupeana zawadi zetu kuna hema pale nje ya kutoa zawadi zetu thank you so much father shege chaplain wa CW kwenye jimbo Saifa Dandicho na CMA tukaribia hapo CMA tafadhali ni wao na zawadi zao kwa maskofu wetu Thank you so much CMA Tufurahie kazi ambayo mwafanya kama kina baba wa Katoliki kushikilia imani yenu barabara kwa njia nzuri. Just time for limited gifts. The rest we shall go because we'll be coming kwa sherehe kwenye uh, parokia. Kesho askofu Simon Peter Kaomoe atakuwa kule Basilika naye askofu wale singanga atakuwa kwa parokea yake ya nyumbani Kaiza King Parish Karinga. Tendelea kuwa zawadia huko na kuwapongezea uh, kokote ambapo wanaenda. Thank you so much CMA tuharakishe kidogo kwa heshima.
Caritas Microfinance mfuate naona mkoseti. Baada hapo the pastoral coordinators na wa Metropolitan ya Nairobi ni waombe ndio tamatishe wakati huu na zawadi kutoka kwa askofu wetu mkuu Philip Anyolo. Oh pastoral coordinators Father Boniface Mukwe kutoka Jimbo la Ngong kwa niaba ya wale wengine. Thanks so much Father Boniface Mukwe kutoka Jimbo la Ngong. Thank you so much. Caritas Microfinance. Sasa skofu wetu mkuu sasa ndiye atafuata kwa zawadi yake. Naenda na askofu msaidizi David Kamau. Kerita za microfinance, tuafurahia kazi ambao mwafanya kutuendeleza kwa njia zote. Thank you so much David the CEO and your team. Asanti sana. And your team ya the bishops in the archdiocese. Tuwaona hapo. Tuwashangiria maskofu wetu. Zawadi wa shaa toa. Anifura kubwa. Kwa wakati basi, kabla tuingie kwenye hotuba, tutakuwa na wimbo wa kitaifa. Naona kardinali anaenda hapo pia. Tukijiandaa kwa wimbo wa taifa. Kwa mwendo wake ule ule wa aste aste kwa afura kubwa. Kuona vile ambavyo jimbo imeendelea. Akiwa paheko. Akiwa paheko uh, the new bishops. Bishop Simon Peter Kamomoe na zawadi yake. Tushangilia kadinari wetu, tumshangilie. Thanks so much, your eminence, for guiding them always, even gifting them during this great occasion. Ndiyayua kitaba sabu kwa furaha. Kwa wakati basi kabla kuingia kwenye hotuba tutasimama kwa wimbo wa taifa tukiongozwa na Don Home Academy. Washangilie. Thank you so much. Don Home, thank you so much. Naomba tuweze kuketi sasa. Yo ni baadhi ya shule zetu. Kama Jimbo la Nairobi, tuafurahia kazi kubwa ya elimu ambayo endelezwa na maskofu wetu. Thank you so much for following up matters of education and formation. Tuangia kwenye hotuba ni mwaliki askofu David Kamau kwa hotuba ya shukrani. Kisha weze kumwalika askofu mkuu Morris Mohatia duendeleze the program of the day. Askofu msaidizi 
David Kamau. Tushangilia askofu Kamau kwa makofi akija kutoa hotuba yake. God is good. Tumusifu Yesu Kristu. Uh, so as uh, Thanksgiving, Your Excellency, Beth van Marken, Apostolic Unicio to Kenya and South Sudan, Your Excellency, Uhuru Kenyatta, former President of the Republic of Kenya, former First Lady, Mama Gina Kenyatta, Your Graces, Your Lordships, representatives of other churches, Honorable Justice, Honorable Speaker of National Assembly, Cabinet Secretaries, Your Excellency, the Governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja, all C4 and political leaders here present, Reverend Fathers, religious men and women, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are in the mood of Easter and therefore happy Easter. Easter. Allow me to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the newly ordained bishops, Bishop Simon Peter Kamomwe and Bishop Waris Nganga. I warmly welcome you both to the Episcopal Fraternity. We express our gratitude to the Almighty for blessings us with the blessings of the newly ordained uh, bishops. We also thank the Holy Father for selecting our two brothers for the elevation to the order of Episcopate. The appointment and the ordination serve as statement, testament to the growth of the faith within the Akidas Nairobi which boasts population of over 4 million Catholic, Catholic faithful. Such a large family of faithful requires additional shepherds. Our gratitude extends to the consecrating bishop, His Excellency, the Nuncio, for presiding over this auspicious occasion Thank you, Your Excellency, for the great support that you have been giving His Grace, Archbishop Philip Agnolo, and the entire uh, process. Archbishop uh, Agnolo, I would like to assure you, I being most, the most uh, senior auxiliary bishop, I would like to assure you that you now you have a battalion of three auxiliary bishops, and I can assure you of our support in govern, governing the archdiocese of Nairobi. We sincerely appreciate our local ordinary, of course, His Grace Archbishop Philip Agnolo, for petitioning the Holy Father to appoint these newly ordained bishops as auxiliary bishops of Nairobi. Your grace, we are thankful for hospitality, meticulous preparation, and excellent organization. And I must assure you that we are proud of you and we are happy to work under you. We express our heartfelt thanks to all priests, religious men and women, and all faithful, from within and beyond the Akidas Nairobi, for their prayers and financial support, which have greatly contributed to the success of this process at the day. Special thanks to the parents and the families of Bishop Simon Peter Kamomwe and Bishop Wallace Nganga, the gift of the two bishops is a testament of the seed of faith that you planted in them. Thank you for your good planting and mentorship. Special appreciation goes to the organization committee, 
led by the chairman of the Archdiocese of Nairobi clergy, Father Martin Kemama, the committee, committee exceptional efforts have been truly commendable. To our service providers and the government officials who joined us to ensure the success of this day, we sincerely thank you for your selfless, selfless service and dedication has made this day a great success. So thank you all for coming and for your active participation in today's liturgy. As you go back home, I ask you to continue praying for our newly ordained bishops that God's strength and grace may be upon them as they impact on their new responsibilities and service. Once again, may I tell of you, thank you and God bless you. Ni mwalie kwa wakati huu kwanza General Secretary KCCB Father Jude wa Oweru. General Secretary KCCB tumpigie Father Jude Makofi kisha mkishe askofu mkuu. Karibu Father Jude. I think now life is easier with this ordination because the, it will be easy to address our new bishops. It's been such a puzzle. Elect bishops, Monsignor. They have had all manner of names addressed to them. Father Monsignor. Elected Monsignor. <laughs> elected Father. I think life is easier. Right Reverend is easier. We thank God for that. Now in the interest of time, allow me to just uh, acknowledge and appreciate all levels of protocols as area recognized without going through the list. And uh, as I proceed, I want to ask if I can continue in Latin. Thank you for the permission. I now know I have your attention. A good afternoon to you all. It's nice to see you all today. I join the league of many of you here and away in congratulating the Right Reverend Bishop Simon Peter Kamumoe and Right Reverend Bishop Wallis Nganga for the responsibilities they have willingly embraced today. This is another milestone and it is worth the jubilations that we have witnessed. May God bless you and may you bear much fruits. KCCB, Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, today celebrate the gracious birth of two members in the family. The conference is structured with a leadership that includes and not limited to the chairman and vice chairman. As such, my job is very easy. Allow me to now invite His Grace, Most Reverend Maurice Muhatia Makuba, the Archbishop of Kisumu Archdiocese, and the Vice Chairman at the KCCB, and also the Principal Administrator of the Secretariat, to take us through this short program of today. Welcome, Your Grace. Thank you very much, Father Jude. My dear brothers and sisters, we are at the very tail end of our celebrations. And allow me, please, to make a few acknowledgments. And then I'll invite a couple of people or so to make very brief speeches as we conclude. First of all, I would like to acknowledge our bishops who have been present for this celebration today, beginning with His Excellency the Nuncio who began the celebration for us, Archbishop Bert Van Megan. Let us give him a clap. <laughs> Next, I acknowledge the presence of His Eminence, the Cardinal John Jewell. <laughs> Next, I acknowledge the presence of uh, our host, Archbishop Philip Agnolo. And then I acknowledge the presence of Most Reverend Martin Kivua, Archbishop of Mombasa and Chairman of the Conference. 
Next, I acknowledge the presence of Most Reverend Anthony Moheria, Archbishop of Nyeri. I wish to acknowledge the presence of Archbishop Peter Cairo, Archbishop Emeritus of Nyeri. I also acknowledge the presence of Bishop Joseph Mairura of Kisi. I acknowledge the presence of Bishop Norman Kingo of Machakos. I acknowledge the presence of Bishop Alfred Rotich of Kericho. Next is Bishop Henry Juma of Kitale. Next is Bishop Hieronymus Joya of Maralal. Next is Bishop George Muthaka of Garissa. Next is Bishop Paul Kariuki of Wote. Next is Bishop Anthony Mkobo Ereri of Isiolo. Next is Bishop Dominic Mengich of Eldoret. Next is Bishop Emeritus of Kakamega, Philip Solometi. Next is Bishop John Obala of Ngong. Next is Bishop Peter Kiara of Marsabit. Next is Bishop Willie Badlago of Malindi. Next is Bishop John Binda of Lodua. Next is Bishop Mark Kadima of Bungoma. Next is Bishop Maria Wainaina of Moranga. Next is Bishop Michael Odiwa of Homa Bay. Next is Bishop Joseph Mongela of Kitui. Next is Bishop Cleophas Oseso of Nakuru. Next is Bishop Joseph Mbatia of Nyaururu. Next is Bishop David Kamau, Auxiliary of Nairobi. Next is retired Bishop Rodrigo Mejia, formerly from Ethiopia. Next, I introduce to you Monsignor John Njue Njeru, Apostolic Administrator of the Military Ordinariate. Next, I want to introduce to you the Secretary of the Nunciature, Monsignor Luciano Labanga. I want to introduce to you the Secretary General of Amesea, Father Anthony Makunde. And I introduce to you the Vice Chancellor of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Father Stephen Mbogwa. Before we go to a few speeches, I also want to acknowledge the presence of the following. I would like to acknowledge and appreciate the presence of our former president, His Excellency, Uru Muigai Kenyatta. Thank you very much. I acknowledge and appreciate the presence of the Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Moses Wetangula. I appreciate and acknowledge the presence of our Chief Justice, Lady Martha Kome. I appreciate the presence of the former First Lady, Mamangina Kenyatta, together with your family. 
I appreciate and acknowledge the presence of our hosting governor, Governor Johnson Sakaja of Nairobi. I acknowledge the presence of the following cabinet secretaries. Honorable Moses Kuria and Honorable Susan Nahomicha. I also acknowledge the presence of the Secretary of the Cabinet, Madam Masi Wanjao. Thank you very much. I acknowledge the presence of the former CS and National Security Advisor to the President, Ambassador Monica Juma. Thank you very much. I acknowledge the presence of the Principal Secretary for Correctional Services, Dr. Sally Beako. Thank you very much. I acknowledge the presence of the following members of Parliament. Honorable Edwin Sifuna, Senator for Nairobi. Honorable Timothy Wanyonyi, our area MP. Honorable George Kagombe, MP for Gatundu South. Honorable Beatrice Elachi, MP for Dagoreti North. I also acknowledge the presence of the various religious leaders who have joined us today, particularly Bishop Paul Njenga, AIPCK, Kenya. Bishop Joseph Kamanya, AIPCA as well. And the General Secretary of NCCK, Reverend Canon Chris Kenyanjui. Thank you very much for your presence. And I also acknowledge the presence of all members of the county assemblies, especially of Nairobi and Kiambu. Allow me now very briefly to invite a couple of people or more, just very few of them. I'll be inviting a few people to make very brief, very brief comments in the interest of time. Before that, uh, as we move from here, we move to Eldoret, the Bishop Auxiliary Elect of Eldoret, who has come for rehearsal. He came to see what is done when the time comes. Uh, anasema, ukiona chumajaku kina nyolewa, amekuja kutia chake maji. Reverend Monsignor John Kiplimo Lele. The next celebration is his in Eldoret. Thank you very much for joining us. Allow me now to invite the governor of Nairobi, His Excellency Honorable Johnson Sakaja, to make brief comments and greet the congregation. Please come over here. Let us give him a clap as he comes. Asante, asante sana Bishop Mohatia. Bona sifiwe. God is good. And all the time. 
Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Asante sana. His Excellency the Nuncio Habatas Matthias Maria van Megen. Our Grace Archbishop Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo. And of course, His Eminence John Cardinal Njue, so good to see you. And all the House of Clergy, His Excellency, our former President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, Mamangina Kenyatta, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Chief Justice. Nimesikia pia kuna watu wa Gatundu, wamekuja hapa leo, hamjambo. Watu wa Gatundu mko? Muriega. Mwadhani ya rogoshuo? Amen. Nyonai na moko tuihamwe? Na kweli kumekujwa. Karibuni sana. Um, your grace, the place of the Catholic Church in our country is really, really solid. The history of this country can never be written down without noting and acknowledging the contribution of the Catholic Church from the time of bringing education from actually 1498 up until today in the areas of healthcare, in the areas of education, of, and of course in society, the areas of spiritual nourishment. Today we are very honored to have been able to join you, Kujumuika Nanyini, for this great celebration. The Catholic Church indeed has provided for us two presidents, President Mwai Kibaki, President Uhuru Kenyatta. It has, pro it has produced two vice presidents, if I'm not wrong, uh, Moody Awori, and I think Michael Kijana Omala was also was a Catholic. He has produced for us a central bank governor, Patrick Njoroge. He has produced for us a speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula. So for those who intend to become presidents in future, one of the places kukani kwa Catholic Church. Unazapata bahati ukiwa kwa kanisa yetu. I have learned a lot today. Um, thank you so much, uh, you know, the, the preacher of today, um, Habatas Van Megan. He was someone of the sons of Zebedi. We didn't know the sons of Zebedi are from Gatundu. <laughs> and it is good today that we have realized they are from Gatundu. You know our Bible, the word says God's word is living and active. It keeps teaching us many things. Lawa subui kuna mtu aliniuliza, Sakaja, you think you know the Bible? What was the blood group of Jesus? Do you know the blood group of Jesus? Akaniambia, but you know the blood group of Jesus. You sing it every day. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, positive <laughs> is a blood group because also he is the universal donor. <laughs> he died for our sins. In this period of visa, we remember. So, mtu kikuliza useme leo umejua blood group ya Yesu. Nigani? Oh, positive. But also, I'm very grateful. Um, thank you for introducing the leaders. I think the only mistake, this place is in the Great North constituency. Mweshimeo Bitri Salachi, ndiyo mbunge wa hapa. Na pia MCA wa hapa, anaitua Robert Alai. Munajua Robert Alai? Ule wa mtandao. Kila saa kuna maneno mengi, lakini ndio huyo. Pia tukonae, tukonae hapa. Also in the sermon, I have learned something. Kumbe kanisa ni kama tu siyasa. Because eh, the preacher told the two new bishops, wachunge, Hapa ndani ya kanisa. Kuna watu, pindi tu wame tawazo kuwa maskofu, wataanza kuwapiga. Na wataanza kuwaletea fitina. Kumbe siyo sisi tu kwa siyasa. Unachaguliwa ata mwaka moja jaisha, mtu anataka kiti yako. Mungina nasema ujui kazi. So we are in the same ship. That's why we need to work closely with the church. So that we can commiserate with each other in fellowship. I want to congratulate the two sons of Zebedi. Our new bishops, <laughs> congratulations on attaining that. First Samuel 16:7 says, For God does not see how man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, 
but God looks at the heart. It is God who knows why you have been chosen at a time like this to support our Archbishop Philip Anyolo. And our Archbishop has a very difficult time. I always tell people, Nairobi, 90% ni wakora. What we sana ni wakora. Mtu mzuri tu Nairobi ni Philip Anyolo. <laughs> peke yake. Philip Anyolo peke yake. Wengine wote. Mimi na deal na watu wote wa hii mji. Yule mzuri tu ni Philip Arnold Zubira Anyolo. So naomba uzidi kutuombea. Mio yetu yurudi sawa sawa. Please at this time the Catholic Church I'd like to ask you to pray for our country to pray for His Excellency our President. Our President would have loved to be here, but after uh, his visit in Ghana, he had to go to different parts of Africa, and the Speaker of the National Assembly has his uh, message. But let us pray for Kenya to succeed. I know we all want our country to succeed. I know President Uhuru Kenya wants the country to succeed. I know the opposition wants the country to succeed. If you don't want your country to succeed, it is like cutting off your nose to spite your face. We peke yako ndio utaumia. Kenya yetu lazima isonge mbele na tunashukuru Mungu kwa baraka ametupa. Sasa tunaona hata uchumi wetu inaanza kupanda, inaimarika. Siku hizi tunapambana shilingi yetu inapambana na dola na saa nyingine inaiangusha. Tuzidi kuombea taifa letu. Ya mwisho watu wa Gatundu ambao pia umetupatia marais kwa wili. Na hapa leo tuko na wabunge wenu watatu. Wa tuko na rais Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa mbunge Gatundu sawa. Tuko na jamba ya Ruriri, Moses Kuria, ambaye amekuwa mbunge wenu. Na pia tuko na Jiji Kagombe. Huyu Jiji ameniambia alikuwa semira, seminari. Miaka minne alafu mambo ikaumana. <laughs> Sijui aliona nini ama nani. <laughs> Lakini pia eh, Uncle George Mo pia alikuwa na shida hiyo. Alikuwa pia kwa seminari ikaumana. But Gatundu South really you've given us a great blessing. Wacha niwaambie leo mambo ni matatu vile mmekuja Nairobi. Mambo ni ngapi? Maudo ni magana? Ya kwanza mnakaribishwa sana Nairobi. Mujisikie mko nyumba? Nyumbani. Ya pili mkimaliza hapa muingie kwa hoteli yoyote. Yoyote. Muulize mukimu. Muulize chai. Mukule kuku. Mkiulizo msemi mtumwa na nani? Sakaja. <laughs> Lakini, ya tatu. Mamo ni mangapi? Ya tatu. Ukimaliza, ulipe bili yako tafadhali. <laughs> Asanteni sana na mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Sakaja for your kind words. God is good. And all the time. Now permit me to invite our former president, His Excellency Uru Kinyata, to address the congregation and give his message of congratulations. Your Excellency, welcome. Your Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio, Your Eminence Cardinal Njue, Your Grace Archbishop Philip Agnolo, Your Graces, my Lord Bishops, the clergy, all leaders here present. Yangu ya kwanza ni kuchukua nafasi hii kuwapongeza mabishop wetu wapya na kuwa na nafasi ya officially saying my lord bishop bwana kamomoe and my lord bishop nganga Asa wamepata title lingine kwa hivyo ni vizuri nikisema hivyo. Congratulations and we wish you every success and you are in our prayers. Niseme ya kwamba tuko na furaha kuwa pamoja nanyi siku ya leo. 
ikiwa ni siku ya kusherehekea na kurudisha uh, shukran kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutufikisha hapa na ndipo kila siku tunasema Mungu ni mwema na Mungu hutenda mema na wakati wa kila mtu Mungu amempangia leo imefika ni wakati ya fadha kamomoe na fadha wa inaina kuacha jina <laughs> fadha nganga pole <laughs> nejo lile <laughs> kuacha jina fadha na sasa kuitwa bishop todo mudanyo ni kwa mapa kiro ni gai na ni kwa wao na ni kyo hedi sio tu gai ni mwega yangu tu ni kusema ya kwamba wameingia hii kazi leo kusaidiana na wenzao haswa archbishop anyolo kueneza injili katika diocese yetu ya Nairobi Na hiyo sio kazi ambayo tutasema ni rahisi. Kwa sababu dunia ambayo tunaishi yaendelea kuwa ngumu. Na ikiwa ngumu saa ingine watu hupotea. Na wakipotea wanatafuta mchungaji na mchungaji ni yule ambaye atasikiliza wale ambao wanaongoza na badala ya kuwaeleza ni kushauriana pamoja na wao apate suluhu ya kuwasaidia katika shida zao we have for too long sometimes taken leadership to mean your capacity to lord it over everybody else but as the nuncio has reminded us today the job of a shepherd is not to direct but to guide and lead and bring everybody along with you tumesikia juu ya wasaliti nunsi wametuambia hapa mambo ya wasaliti na ajichunge wasaliti wa kanisa mabishop mujichunge lakini mimi nataka niseme hii nikiangalia to my left to my right sio ni shida ya usaliti mwingi sana huku Hawa ni watu ukiwaongelesha vizuri mtapelekana na hawa vizuri sana na watawasaidia kwa kazi zenu. Usaliti uko upande mwingine staki sio. Usaliti ni mwingi sana. Lakini kwa wasaliti tunawaambia hata Judas alisaliti Yesu. Lakini hiyo mahela aliiwacha akaenda akatafuta kamba kwa hivyo kujira kwa because ya mwishine dare kuna siku ambayo haina mwisho wake so yangu ni kusema shirikianeni pamoja na hawa bring them into your confidence bring them into your trust they especially in difficult times will help guide you through and bring your flock to greener pastures there was once a man who said ya kwamba the church is the conscience of society we must always ask ourselves and especially the leadership of the church is whether we are still faithful to that calling 
Are we still the conscience of society? Or have we forgotten that critical role? In times of difficulty, that consciousness is very important. And I pray that the Lord God will guide our two new bishops, that they will remain that conscience, that they will speak their minds in the interest of their people without fear or favor, knowing that it is their mission to not only preach the gospel and teach, but also to practically walk and live with those that they shepherd through their difficult times and to stand for them when their people need it. It is servant leadership, not leadership to be served. I wish God's grace, I wish God's blessings, I also wish God's joy for you as you move forward. I congratulate your parents. Mororadi mona ne joy. Korosi anyune shiwe ile na ke no mudha nya wa mudhi. Mona te shiana shiana. Mimi ni warais mstafu uhuru mwega ikinyata na waombe baraka wazazi kwa hawa ambao ni wazazi wa maskofu wa teule na tunawashukuru hata nyinyi wazazi. Kwa zawadi yenu. wazazi kwa familia kwa kushikilia hawa wenzetu twasema asante twasema Mungu aendelee kuibariki taifa letu la Kenya Mungu aendelee kubariki wananchi wetu wa Kenya tuendelee kuwa na umoja tuendelee kupendana na kanisa ishike jukumu lake la kuhakikisha ya kwamba imetetea haki za wananchi wa taifa hili letu la Kenya. Mungu na wabariki na waweke. Asante. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Now allow me to invite the speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Wetangula Moses, to give his message. Karibu, Mr. Speaker. Let us give him a clap as he comes. Thank you, Babascofo. That's Apostolic Nuncio, Avan Megan, our Archbishop of Nairobi, my brother Phil Pagnolo, my Bishop Wetu Apia, the brand new kids on the block, Bishop Simon Peter and Wallace, our Cardinal and all the clergy present, allow me also to acknowledge my own Bishop of Bungoma, Bishop Kadima, who looks after me in the village. I've been sent here by His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, and as I deliver his message, allow me to salute our fifth president, our brother Huru Kenyatta, our governor of Nairobi, and all the protocol has established. Nimekuja hapa kuleta salamu za rais wetu, koma bishop wetu wapia, salamu na hongera isiyo na kipimo wala kifani, na kuambia hongera sana kwa kupanda ngazi ya ulinzi wa mioyo yetu katika kanisa letu la katoliki na kufikia kiwango cha kuwa maaskofu rais angependa kuwa hapa leo lakini vile mjuavyo ako safari ya nje 
na tarudi pengine leo au kesho ameniambia niwaambie maaskofu wetu wapya ya kwamba nashirikiana na nyinyi na familia zenu na kujivunia kwa tuzo ambalo mmepewa na kiongozi wa kanisa letu la katoliki papa francis pia rais anasema ya kwamba anaheshimu kanisa la katoliki na makanisa yote nchini kwa kazi wanayoifanya kusaidiana na serikali kwa nyanja ya elimu nyanja ya afya na nyanja zote ambazo zinasaidia kushika nchi yetu isimame sio tu pamoja lakini wa Kenya wapendane waheshimiane na tujenge nchi yetu kuboresha maisha ya wananchi pia rais amesema kwa maaskofu wetu wapya jukumu sasa mlilo nalo ni kushirikiana na maaskofu wenzenu ili kuhakikisha kwamba makanisa yetu inaendelea kuwa kipimo cha yale mambo mazuri yanayofanyika katika nchi yetu na msiwe na uogofu wote kusema yale ambayo mnaona hayendi sawa kwa sababu nyinyi mkisema ni sauti ya Mungu na wa Kenya wako tayari kutoka uongozi wa juu mpaka chini kuheshimu ushauri wenu na hata pale mnaotukosoa tunakubali na kurekebisha finally awandi in a very special way as a catholic myself to salute you the two bishops and all the bishops here present for continuing to be the moral barometer of our country the moral rectitude of our society i was recently visited by some clergy from the catholic church who told me that we see you sitting in the speaker's seat please for the sake of our nation don't allow any legislation that perverts or corrupts the morals of our society and i gave them my word that i will be the watchdog too to ensure that the legislation we have must be consistent and be in keeping with the expectations of our society respecting our culture our norms and resist any attempt to pervert those morals through legislations that may be engineered from different quarters of the world that don't appreciate what we stand for and i give you that promise as a church that we will do exactly that lastly allow me also to exercise some bragging rights that bishop archbishop brother philip anyolo the archbishop of nairobi is born in the same county as you are truly here <laughs> and is the same county that gave this country the first cardinal morris otunga and is the same country where you are truly has walked through the journey of life in the shadow of catholicism lastly i want to offer to our new bishops a gift that i was given to give to each one of you by his excellency the president and allow me to invite you your grace so that i can hand over this gift to you pray for our country pray for our leadership pray for all kenyans so that we have the capacity when we have problems not to look for who to blame but to look for solutions to those problems thank you
Thank you very much, Honorable Wetangula, for your kind words and for the message from His Excellency, the President. Now, before I invite the Chairman of the Conference uh, to give uh, his message, uh, I bring you greetings from uh, the land of uh, Erokamano, <laughs> a land of uh, beautiful people and beautiful things. Fish is just one of them. There are many other good things. If you want to know them, please come and discover. Greetings from Kisumu. Asante. Your Grace Archbishop Kibuba, please welcome to give you a message as chairman of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops. Can you have the speaker, please? Your Excellency, <clears throat> the Apostolic Nuncio, Bart Van Mengen, Reverend o of Your Eminence, Reverend uh, Most Namnagan, <laughs> all the Archbishops and Bishops, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, Your Excellence, the President, all the entourage that came for the both sides, um, the sitting in government and those who came from the retired side, your excellencies, my dear brothers and sisters, our religious men and women, watu wa mungu hasa, kina mama, kina baba, na vijana, tumsifu Yesu Christu. First of all, before I do anything, I'd like to take this chance on behalf of the conference to sincerely say congratulations for our two brothers who are joining the conference from today and forth until God says imetosha. Tu wapigie makofi, tu ambie hongera, askofu kamomwe na askofu nganga. We want to say we are proud, we are happy, and thank also the ex His Excellency the, the Apostolic Nuncio for the hard work to find us such a fine man. It's a work we all share because in Anzia Kwenye Familia, where wewe mama baba unalea vizuri. In Anzia Kwa Jami Pia, where we live, where we work, it is part of how God grows us up. So I'm here to say congratulations to the two and invite them to come to the conference. The first one starts on Monday. <laughs> and the Monday we want to come in together to repeat most of those things, that, uh, messages that have been set up here. The church is here as part of society. And the church is here, is not here to get positioned or take away anybody's right. It's to walk and work together hand in hand with any leaders, with any other religions that are around us, with all of us who say we believe in God. And therefore, I would like to ask you to go and watch that uh, His, His, His Excellency's Apostolic Nuncio's homily, it was moving, and it makes sense for us to think this way, where we see ourselves walking like brothers and friends of Jesus. As I continue, I don't want to waste a lot of time because I'm only told to, to welcome them. I'll ask all the members of the conference to kindly stand while I ask the two to come and in these two envelopes, one has what they call our standing orders. <laughs> our standing orders in, the, in our own conference. They are specific. They guide you what and who you are and what to do. In it also, it gives you the rota of all the um, uh, meetings we have to attend and where they will be. And also gives you fair to get to their next destination. <laughs> so kindly 
Simon Peter, come on way. While others stand and keep clapping until they take their, their our brothers, we welcome them. We welcome them. And uh, Willis Nganga. So we start with the first one. In order of seniority, he is the first to be ordained. Ongera Makofi Jaman. Nakaribu, come, Karibu to the conference. Willis, welcome. Let's keep clapping, my dear brother. Let's keep clapping for them. So I want to just say once again, we are privileged. And let me also thank the Archbishop of Nairobi and the conference at large. For this year, we have had quite a lot of work to get our new GS. It was not introduced publicly today, but our new GS also comes from Nairobi. Today, they have decided to give us all the gifts. So we want to thank uh, 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 Club for him, please. Jude Waweru Maura. So that is our new GS. And I want to say once again, it's a moment to thank God for what we're able to do together as a church, government, and other religious leaders who we walk together. People have said, and I must repeat this, why it not for the faith groups, and I mean faith groups, the church, the Muslims, and all of us together trying to secure this country, we will be, I don't know what we'll be saying now. But let me say, let's stay united. Be you a Muslim, be you an Anglican, be you whatever. But let's go to the right direction in terms of working with our society, with our people. There are two things I've been asked to speak about, but I won't go to details. Right now, there are people dying in public hospitals. Reason? Reason, you know. Doctors and the employer, and the, they have not agreed. This, this is, should not be happening. Secondly, the churches, and I mean the churches and even Muslims, they are paying by the taxes we are being asked to pay for certain things. And I must say, it is possible to work together. We know we have to pay things, but from time immemorial, and from time and time and time immemorial, many countries, in fact, give churches money to, to support the social sector. So we hope uh, our man, in the, uh, Senator, you said you are listening. Kindly remind ourselves, and especially those of us who are sitting to make the laws, there are areas we are oppressing what the church is doing. But we are not going to say we walk to the streets. No. We want to remind ourselves and look from the past and look at other countries, what they're doing. We can do better. Last but not least, the area of employment. We also want to encourage each one of us to look for ways for the young people. They are struggling and we all belong to the same country where our young people are looking out at us and say, what can we do? How do we gain employment? There are many spaces now. We encourage them not to choose what to work, what kind of work, but allow themselves to be um, guided to what is available and we can gain employment. With those few words, once again, Asanteni Sana, Baraka, Kwenu, Na, Mushoni, Happy Easter. Santeni, sir. As I end, I <coughs> someone have a score. Uh, I like to invite the Zexan Denuncio for Coco Julio Bakia, if he has man any more, and also say once again to him, he's been our hero. We have never had so many bishops sooner as we have, and I will say 
more are coming. Thank you. Karibu tena. Bishops, I would say nearly young bishops, but also from the other hand, not so young anymore. Huh? Bishop uh, Karamomoy, Bishop uh, Simon Peter, and uh, Bishop Wallace. The, His Excellency, the former President of Kenya, all the other dignitaries, representatives of the government, our brothers in the priesthood, brothers and sisters of the religious life, people of God, Tumsifu Jesu Christo. God is good all the time. And all the time, God, that is His nature. Wow. And then I always say, today is such a wow day. I think today, and I was, you know, you have seen me chatting with uh, Archbishop uh, Moheria. We always, we shouldn't sit next to each other, but because we talk too much. <laughs> but one of the things we commented on, and I would immediately like to thank the people who have organized this here today, how beautiful and perfect this celebration not has been. I think all the people who have been involved here from the Archdiocese of Nairobi and also our MCs here in the forefront and in the background who have prepared this for many days and made it as perfect as it was and still is this morning. I think we all felt a bit how God's spirit was present in this celebration and in that sense also it is good to be a Catholic. It is good to be a Catholic. And we need to, you know, reinforce that identity a bit. As I said in my, ser in my sermon, we need to be close in that love to Christ when he asks us, do you love me? I was a few weeks ago, in fact, three weeks ago only, or even less, I don't remember anymore, I was with the Holy Father in Rome, had an audience with him, one of the privileges of being a nuncio, to be able to meet the Holy Father relatively frequently. And we were talking about, again also about the church in Kenya and the church in general. And one of the things he underlined to me, of course we speak in Italian, la chiesa è per tutti, 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 tutti. <laughs> Which means as much as the the church is for all, for all, for all, for everybody. And that is a good thing, and it was mentioned here also by the, for, the speakers before me, how the Catholic Church is not a church closed in itself. We are not a sect. We open the doors and the windows so that other people can get a bit of a sniff of the incense, so to say so that other people may also gather a bit from what we do and may share in the joy, even though they're not a Catholic, maybe not even a Christian. By the way, also already I would like to wish the Muslims who very soon are going to celebrate the Eid al-Fitr, I want to wish them a very happy feast as it is coming up. All people of faith and even those of non-faith we as a church, we are open to them. We serve them. We serve them, as it was mentioned also by the different speakers here today, we serve them through our institutions. Imagine, 35% of all educational institutions in Kenya are Catholic. 40% of all uh, health institutions are Catholic. We are among the pillars of this great nation. And we will continue to serve this great nation. I myself am already like five years now in Kenya and it has been years of grace, years of happiness and feeling fortunate to be able to serve this great church with this splendid and good bishops we have. Santeni Sana, thank you all of you for the great work you're doing and at the end Continue to accompany the two bishops here, our new auxiliary bishops, 
with your prayer, with your assistance, with your encouragement, because we all need it. And we all need to grow into our office, but with your help and my help, they will succeed. Be blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. As we conclude, allow me just for one minute to invite uh, Bishop Peter Kamamoe. Come and greet the people. We want to hear your voice and tell us how you are feeling. Just one minute. Karibu. Tumpigia makofi akija. Your Grace, Bishop Muhati, uh, you're asking me how I'm feeling. I'm just feeling very much humbled by God. Your Excellency, Bart Van Megan, Apostolic Nusio to Kenya and Southern Sudan. Your Grace, uh, Philip Agnolo. Oh, your Graces, your Lordships, oh, Oh, Your Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and Mama, Your Excellency Mama Gena Kenyatta, Kenyatta, all leaders from the national government, Your Excellency the Governor of Nairobi, all the civil and the political leaders here present, every fathers, religious men and women, uh, dear brothers and sisters, our Christo Wote, uh, sisi tuko na furaha sana kwa ajili ya maombi yenu na you have supported us in so many ways you have encouraged us in so many ways and we thank God for you in the midst of our own unworthiness we are harbored by God's boundless love and mercy we continue to extend our sincere sincere gratitude to the Holy Father through the Apostolic Nuncio uh, Holy Father Pope Francis, whose appointment uh, to the position of auxiliary bishop fills us with both honor and humility. We must also express our profound gratitude to His Excellency, but Van Megan. He has been so fatherly, he has been so, you know, guiding us so much, encouraging us. And we thank you, uh, Your Excellency, uh, for being our consecrator today. Uh, assisted uh, by uh, your grace, uh, our archbishop, uh, and also our archbishop, and also Bishop David Kamau, and still assisted by His Eminence John Kanajue. Uh, to the most uh, reverend Philip Agnolo, our Metropolitan Bishop, Archbishop of Nairobi, we really thank you. Uh, our archbishop is so fatherly, uh, we didn't know how even to wear vestments. But he showed us how to wear ata his kovia mnaona ni ya He is so father, he is so concerned. He is a little father. Thank you very much, Your Grace. We also we are also indebted, of, of course, as I've said, to His Eminence John Kanonjue, who laid the foundation, uh, because he served as the Archbishop of Nairobi, uh, as uh, the predecessor of uh, uh, Archbishop Anyolo. We also acknowledge and thank uh, our esteemed, as I said, the civil leaders. We are equally uh, grateful to the clergy of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, especially the team, the liturgy team and uh, the Secretary of Archdiocese of Nairobi, the whole team. We are so grateful, we appreciate the work and I think uh, as uh, His Excellency has indicated, we have seen the fruits of your work last year. Uh, to our dear family members, I would like to thank God uh, for my mother, my, my late Marimu Kamamoe, passed on. Uh, Moses Kuria Moses tells me, because my father was uh, a teacher of Moses Kuria, so he was telling me, your father Michael must be celebrating in heaven. So may my father be celebrating in heaven. And I thank God for my mother, she is there, she was in hospital and she was discharged two weeks ago. She was so worried whether she would come and attend. Thank God she is with us today and also my brothers and sisters. And to all those who have traveled with us, all the religious men and women, we are very grateful. We would like to commend our church and ourselves to 
maternal protection of uh, Mother Mary, uh, Mother of Apostles, and also the intercession of St. Joseph, uh, also, and the, may the servant of uh, God who ordained me, Morris Michael Otunga, intercede for us. May God bless each and every one of you abundantly, and may he continue to guide and strengthen all of us as we strive to fulfill his holy will. We can only echo the message in Psalm 115 that not to us, not to us, but your name give the glory. Asante and Sada. And now, thank you very much, Your Lordship, Wallace Nganga. Please come and greet the congregation. Your Excellency, your Anuncio, Your Grace, Philip Anyoro, Your Eminence, John Kanunonjui, your Excellency Uhuru Muyai Kenyatta, Your Graces, Your Lordships, all leaders from the national government, Your Excellency the Governor of Nairobi, all civil and political leaders here present, Reverend Fathers, religious men and women, Noa Christo Wote Kwa Jumra Tumsi for Yesu Christo. God is good, and all the time, in such a moment, like my brother, Bishop Kamomoya, just said, you don't know what to say. But allow me just to re-echo what he had just said, to thank you all. But above all, allow me to foremost thank God who has today bestowed on me the grace of being one of the success of the apostles through the Episcopal ordination. With a heart full of gratitude, yet recognizing my unworthiness and trusting in your prayers and support, I accepted the news of my nomination and I'm ready to serve in the responsibility that I've been given. Like my brother Bishop Kamome has said, allow me to thank the three ordaining Prelates, His Excellency Anuncio, His Grace Archbishop Anyoro, and Bishop David Kamau for being the instruments of God in our life today. I also thank very sincerely the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his confidence and trust that he has praised me, tasking me to assist Archbishop like Nairobi. His Grace Archbishop Anyoro in his pastoral and administrative responsibilities. While carrying out my Episcopal responsibilities under the guidance of His Grace Archbishop Anyoro, I promise to follow our Holy Father's insistence that the bishop, the bishops always are to be close to the people, to be close to God be close to our brother bishops and close to the priests. I shall remember and emulate the advice that he gave to a group of newly ordained consecrated bishops a few years ago. And I quote, a bishop becomes a true shepherd not by seeking power over his flock, but in serving the souls entrusted to his care, head of the court. May the Holy Virgin Mary intercede for us both to live his grace of being successors of the apostles in the life of genuine service and mutual love. Thank you, my dear brother priests, all consecrated men and women present here, all members of my natural, our natural family, especially my parents, and all Catholic faithful for being close to us these days, especially today, as you came to pray for us and entrust us to God. Me and my brother, Bishop Kamamoe, are overwhelmed by your love for us. 
I shall continue to count on your prayers to fulfill the episcopal responsibilities placed on my shoulders with the diligence, sense of responsibility, and spirit of service, knowing that one day I will have to give an account to the Lord for this grace. Once again, I say thank you, thank you, asante tena sana na mungu abariki na waangazie na mwanga wake katika maisha yenu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Lordship Peter, and thank you very much, Your Lordship Wallace, on behalf of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, and to thank all of you most sincerely for your active participation in these liturgical celebrations. And we want to thank the Archdiocese of Nairobi for giving us two new members to the conference. Asante Nisana and Sayu Gwedu. Archbishop Philip, the button back to you. Merci. Basi tuwashukuru wote kwa umili wenu na hakika tuko mahitimisha mambo litujia lakini sasa tunayo matangazo ambayo tuataka kuyatangaza. Mwanzo kabisa kutoka kwa logistics committee mapadri wote na taarifu waweze kukutana hapa nyuma ya altari. Vile vile all religious men and women wakutane hapo nyuma ya altari baada ya kuondoka hapa. Vile vile kwa ajili ya zawadi ambazo tunazo kwa ajili ya askofu wetu wapya kunaye haima iliyoko nyuma ya mahali wanakoa meketi kwa hivyo tuhakishe kwamba tumeandikisha zawadi zote na tumeziacha hapo asanteni kwa njia kipekee tushukuru Kapuchin TV kwa kupeperusha matukio ya leo ya kihistoria katika runinga shukuru Radio Maria Nairobi Radio Waumini KCCB Communication na Archdiocese of Nairobi Communication na wengine wote kwa kazi yenu njema. Kuna ujumbe hapa kwa mapadre wote wa Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi. All the priests working in the Archdiocese. Kuna ujumbe kutoa kwa mashama Baba Askofu wetu Filipanyolo. Liturgical guideline on mentioning of bishops' names in Eucharistic prayer. Peace be with you. Following the guidelines given in general instructions of the Roman Missal, number 149, it is permitted to mention the names of the auxiliary bishops in the Eucharistic prayer. Therefore, we shall be mentioning the names of the Holy Father, the Dawson Bishop, and the Auxiliary Bishops as follows. Continuing with the Eucharistic prayer, together with Francis our Pope, Philip our Bishop, David, Simon Peter, and Wallis his Auxiliary Bishops. Then you continue. Kwa lugha ya Kiswahili, kinelea kwa sala ya Ikaristia, pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco, askofu wetu Filipo, maskofu wa Saidizi wake, Daudi, Simon Petro, na Wales. Kwa lugha si ya Kilatini, bali ya lugha ya Kikuyu, Hamwe na fafa wito Motheru Francis, Mothikafu wito Philip, Adhikafu atidhiri yake, David, Simon Peter, na Wallis. Utatumua huu jombe nini mafathas kwenye simu zenu, utumia njia yetu ya mawasiliano, nyo kwanze ibada ya misa sasa, tufuata ya magizo, ambayo metolewa na his grace Philip Panyolo, Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi. Kwa shukuru wote sasa tu ni kumalizia. Musafara wa kuondo kabasi. 
utaongozwa na Donholm Catholic Primary School Band tutaongoza kwa hiyo sasa tutasimama ndio tuongoze tukiwashukuru wote once again thank you so much we thank god for this day tuweze kusimama wote tuomba kwa heshima tugoje ndio msafara uweze kutoa kwa njia ya heshima wageni mashuhuri wakiongozwa na the ashes vizuri kisha wafuatiwe na maskofu kuna the reception area pale nyumba tuombe kwa heshima tuweze kufuatilia don't know band tafadhali tuendelee
baraka kuu furaha kuu baada ya kuwapokea maaskofu wawili wa saidizi kwenye jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi kati ya mtunzi kimekuwa hapa mashahidi na kati ya wengi ambao wametuzindikiza wadhamini wetu ni eh, ndugu zetu katika benki ya Equity na with us